verified science. But, but I think that as we pursue a, shall we say, a political agenda that is good for people to talk to each other, I mean, that, that's a political statement from my point of view, and I'd like to encourage people to communicate, because I think when we communicate, we're going to fight that. You know, or that's my hope.
One is San Pietro, one is Cagliari, one is Crocone, one is Dakar, one is Princeton, one is Columbus, Ohio, one is New York. These places are related with Ljubljana. Professor Cegli came from Ljubljana, so Yugoslavia was able to link and have a node. Ljubljana is not uh, a linear country and is related with a vanishing point. Each one of these nodes can be related by a pilot, a canoe, a telematic canoe, carrying know-how, scientific information. Know-how means technical information asked, like Professor Ginesu asked related to Olympia. This morning, Italiani, we went to see the Olympia piece related to this little boat that is traveling from New York. We were in New York in 1988, of the Plato Service. Now we have Professor Veroni that may be coming about two because we have a Professor Picasso, the chairperson of the engineering department of the University, Professor Anneli, and we are sending, like we propose, a project. What is the introduction to Plato's NUR? NUR, in this case, meaning is a network universal record or logic universal record. We decided how this project can be an introduction. Okay. Now, Plexus. Right. And Plexus, where is Plexus? Tell you about 
this evening. But one, for example, uh, is that a consequence of my interest in Zimbabwe and in families and curves and in curves is that I developed a method for drawing curves that's today widely used in computer aided design. Uh, it is the recursive subdivision method that is employed to draw Bayesian curves. And uh, today, for example, if you take the postscript language, which is used in laser printers, every letter in every character in every postscript page employs my algorithm to draw the curves there. And that is an outgrowth of my interest in curves and my interest in non-linear architecture. I mean, the connection may seem remote, but then I know that the connection is there because I lived it. I lived the development from an interest in Zimbabwe to an interest in curves to an interest in growing curves. And today, it's been used literally billions of times around the world. Every time PostScript is used, they use my algorithm. If I had happened to it, I would be driving away and getting limousine. But I didn't. So it's used. And you're welcome to use it too, as well. And this is the other guy. And that he came to see. This is the main reason why Professor Chaney came. Because we are going to see a curve line of the Sardinia. We are sure that Sardinia we have a very good curve line. In the center of the Mediterranean. With the 7,000 left, maybe less now, but we are able to connect another tower in San Pietro, in an observatory with some particular shape. In Sardinia, we were able to write in 87, we are following 160 artists, and we worked work with Professor Chen from 86 for a call that was plotted in a disquette here, Professor Ivan. Still, this disquette was made by Professor Chen and Cooper Union and brought by Ed, and our tower, this tower. This is why Professor Lee was invited to July 4 coming to San Pietro Island. Because we are talking about the construction now of the, how the community can talk, through which system. We have a discussion coming with Carnegie Mellon University, with the Ohio State University, with many other universities, through which system we agree to communicate. Now we propose from San Pietro Island to, to talk us through a system that Professor Chapin today, 26 June 1991, the physics department of the State University in Cagliari proposed to use a perfect shuffle with exchange as a possible system of combination of more than one person, correct? And, and let me add that the perfect shuffle and exchange uh, is closely related. I mean, as you, I'm sure, are aware. You can find almost anything related to anything else in, in science and architecture. But uh, the, the Hadamard matrices, which I have used to uh, produce an invention of a two dimensional perfect shuffle, the Hadamard matrices generate Walsh functions. The Walsh functions are related to entropy because they are the uh, they enumerate a set of all possible binary sequences. When you generate a Walsh function, you generate a set of all possible binary sequences. And though I am not an expert in communication theory, I do know from uh, association and discussions with uh, Gregory Chaitin in science and architecture. The, the Hadamard matrices, which I have used to uh, produce an invention of a two-dimensional perfect shuffle, the State University in Cagliari proposed to use a perfect shuffle with a Association and Cooper Union and brought by end and our tower, this tower. This is where Professor Lee was invited for July 4 to come to San Pietro Island because we are talking about the construction now of the 
how the community can talk, through which system. We had a discussion coming with Carnegie Mellon University, with Ohio State University, with many other universities, through which system we agreed to communicate. Now we propose to Mr. Pietroia to, to talk us through a system that Professor Cerchi, today, 26 June 1991, the physics department of the State University in Cagliari proposed to use a perfect shuffle with exchange as a possible system of a combination of more than one person, correct? And, and let me add that the perfect shuffle and exchange uh, is closely related. I mean, as you, I'm sure, are aware, you can find anything related to anything else in, in science, science. <laughs> but uh, the, the Hadamard matrices which I have used to uh, produce an invention of a two-dimensional perfect shuffle the Hadamard matrices generate Walsh functions the Walsh functions are related to entropy because they are the uh, they enumerate the set of all possible binary sequences. When you generate a Walsh function, you generate the set of all possible binary sequences. And though I am not an expert in communication theory, I do know from uh, association and discussions with uh, Gregory Chaitin, not me, but Gregory Chaitin at IBM in Yorktown Heights uh, in the United States, uh, that there is a strong connection between the set of possible sequences of binary, and the set of possible binary sequences, entropy, and the uh, uh, and randomness and the mathematical definition of randomness. Now, uh, I'm afraid I cannot, um, because my background is not uh, permitted to be an expert on the Boltzmann equation, I, you know, say, Okay, you put that in there. Sorry, man. But, but you know, I'm happy to share what I have with him and vice versa in order to see where this this interaction leads. Uh, I have made artworks based on the Hadamard transforms. Uh, and some people look at them and say, and other people say, you know, they don't say that when they do it. You know, and now I'm the Korean cast on that. And now Professor Jane also recalls the and then we know that we can go out the screen from psychological effect from the glass of the image of Kama. But the Korean cast on well, let me be. Many artists have given their input to make this project possible come out with their work by Fourier transform. I want to I want to say something about the Fourier transform. Just as I said this about the about the data compression that is accomplished by this system. Um, the Fourier transform is, of course, essentially a, a method of uh, frequency analysis. This is also based right here in this geometry that has a foundation for frequency analysis. You don't need a Fourier transform to obtain a frequency analysis given a geometry like this. If you want it, we can obtain it through the perfect shuffle. That was shown by Stone in 1968. He showed that the Fourier transform could be, the fast Fourier transform could be based on the perfect shuffle with exchange. But this geometry itself is, in, is capable of producing frequency analysis similar to the Fourier transform because it is a this will result in a series of cancellations or uh, amplifications that are dependent on that are dependent upon the spatial frequency and the place where the either cancellations or amplifications are taking place. And this is a phenomenon that's well known in the nervous system known as lateral inhibition. If you simply do lateral inhibition into this, it becomes a frequency analysis machine. 
It wouldn't work. It'll find only, you know, only one frequency or or uh, or octaves of that. You know, okay. Okay. in a series of cancellations, producing frequency analysis similar to the Fourier transform, because it is. Uh, 